Welcome back to another organization video. This video, I want to share with you a few of my drawers in my nail desk that really need some cleaning up. I'm always receiving new product and I find just I'm putting everything in these drawers and they get messy. So I'm just not happy with a few of them right now. So I want to clean them up and I thought you guys might enjoy seeing me do that. So I'm just going to show you the drawers right now that really do need some tidying up. Now this one is a miscellaneous drawer. It's got appointment books, some cards for appointments, just a mixture of different things. And it really is kind of a waste of space, the amount of stuff I have in here. And I don't use it very much, so I might need to take it right out of here or figure out a neater, smaller way of organizing this so I can make this drawer more useful. And the bottom one here, this one's probably the worst one. It's got a bunch of top coats and base coats, some poly gels, some slip solutions, just a big mixture of product that I really, some of it I don't even use at all. So I have a unit in my closet and I think I'm gonna move some of this over there, the ones that I don't use as much. And the products I do, I wanna keep in here and keep them more organized and figure out a way to do that. So I'm gonna do this drawer as well. And moving over to the other side of my desk, there's one here that I'm just not liking and I'm not using this drawer very much, so I wanna change it around. Now these are acrylic colors and a bunch of acrylic. Now I do do acrylic, but it's usually the clear acrylic as a base. I don't use a lot of the color. So I think I'm gonna move this into my uh, unit in my closet as well. And the basic core ones that I do use, I probably will leave in here. And I just wanna make better use of this drawer because it's not getting used enough and why not neaten it up because as you can see it's just getting messy it just has all my swatches for the color and as you can see things get kind of thrown in over time and it just needs a good cleaning so I will do that with you guys today so keep watching and we'll get started right away on organizing <music> So back to this drawer again I'm gonna do this one first since I showed you this one at the beginning and I think I'm gonna take everything out of here and decide what I want to keep in this drawer but I'm gonna move this drawer maybe to the bottom because this one doesn't get used a lot either so if I want to keep that kind of miscellaneous stuff like my appointment book and my label maker and that I'll just keep it in the bottom and it'll kind of be out of the way then and I'll put something more useful higher up that I can reach easier in this one so I will just take everything out and I'll be back once I do that. Okay, this drawer is now clean. I disinfected it with my spray. So now I'm gonna to move to the bottom one because I think the things that I wanna keep from the bottom, they're gonna go in this drawer. Actually, I'm not sure yet. I might even move the bottom drawer over to the other side. So I'll just clean those three drawers out and go from there and then I can explain it better. Okay, so now that drawer is clean and disinfected. And I do have this from the dollar store. I really like these. It's a obviously a drawer divider. I think I'm gonna put that in the very bottom to put that miscellaneous stuff in here and my label maker, my appointment book, and I think it'll keep everything just a little bit more compact and neat. So I will do that right now. So first of all, my appointment book, I'm just gonna put it on the side by the dollar store organizer. It'll fit perfect right there. Now I'm just gonna take the pens and pencils that I have here. I think I'm just gonna keep them in their packaging and I'm just gonna put those back here because they're not gonna get used very often. Now I have my appointment cards. 
So we're going to put those. I might even take them out of this box. And I will put them right in here. So my label maker, I'm going to keep that up front because I do use that quite often. So I think I'll just put it right here. And I do have refills. These refills are from Amazon for my label maker, so of course I'm going to put those in there too. Now I do wear glasses when I do nails, so I want to keep my glasses down here as well. So I decided I don't like the pens at the back, so I'm going to just pull them out right now. And I think I'm just going to take my glasses case and I'm just going to put them right here because I usually have my glasses on my desk all the time. Now I do have spray to clean my glasses, so I'm going to put that in here. And I have some two-sided tape that sometimes I'll use for videos or whatever. So I'm just going to put it in here. And I'm just going to put the pens that I always use to do my appointment book with in here. Now these are extra appointment cards, but when I was doing all my press-on nails, I would write down the client's name and I'd have her sizes so in case they ordered again which a lot did so I think I'm just going to keep those because I still sell some press-ons and then if they do order I'm able to find their sizes easily. Probably not the best system but at the time it works so I'll just put them in here too. So that's actually pretty much it for that drawer, but it is a lot neater as you can see. And if I need to add something, I will after, but at least I got the main things, my appointment book and my label maker and my glasses case. And I might actually stick, I do have a few more glasses sets or pairs, I should say. I might stick those in the back too, because these ones don't get used very much and they're easy to pull out if I do want to use a different pair. So that drawer is pretty much completed for now. Moving on to the next one. So moving over to my closet, you've probably seen it in other tours I did of my nail room and I keep a lot of storage items in here like my disinfectants, isopropyl alcohol, all that kind of stuff, my acetone, you can see it all up there. Well I do have these Rubbermaid storage containers and I use these for storing like props for videos, extra files and buffers, just a mixture. My favorite practice hand from AliExpress, it's like the red iguana hand, all that kind of stuff, the holders for the hands. Anyway, so I want to move those poly gels that I had in my desk that I showed you before over here because I just find poly gel just doesn't get used by my clients. They prefer to my magic gel system or the acrylic as the base. So they're not getting used a lot. So I think I will move them and try and find a home for them with some other stuff. So I'm just going to set up my camera and I will start putting some of it in there. So I've opened up one of my top drawers and I think I'm just going to stick it in maybe the very top one.
So all the poly gels are in there now and I'm going to keep them for now. And if it's a while and I don't use them, I'll probably have to throw some of them, if not all of them away, but they're there for now. And the slip solutions, I'll probably have to put in the bottom somewhere. I use isopropyl alcohol to move a poly gel around too. So I don't necessarily need the slip solutions, but I may stick them in one of these um, storage containers. So I want to move on to something else now. I don't want to take too long doing this. If you do want to see what I have in all of these drawers, please let me know and I can do a separate video showing you how I store everything. So yeah, let me know down in the comments if you're interested in that. So I do have a bunch of dual forms and of course you use that with the poly gel. So I'm going to stick them close by so I can keep that kind of organized. So I'll put them in the second drawer for now. Actually, I may grab just a storage container. It'll keep them more neat. So yeah, they're all in there. I'll figure out what else to put in there after, but that's a good start. Yeah, so I'm gonna move back to the desk. So getting back to this drawer, I wanna take all of this acrylic out and I'll leave a few behind, but otherwise it's all going over to those storage containers. So I'm just gonna grab it all and we'll go over there and we'll stick it in there and then we'll get back to what I'm gonna put in this drawer. So I do wanna show you quickly, I just moved my acrylic colors and the swatches into this. So I can find them easily if I do want to use a, a color and a I mean, glam and glitz, of course. There's some other ones, Light Elegance, in there. Anyways, so this one is done. I'll just leave them like that, and that's good for now. And I just put my dip powder from Model Ones, which they sent me to review. You can see that video in the top right-hand corner if you want to see this little kit better, but it was really popular. Anyways, it's in there with some of the dual forms. So I'm just going to go back over to my desk and arrange a couple drawers now and show you what I'm going to do. So I started this drawer. This was on the right side of my desk, and this was the top coats. Like I have a lot of my Daily Charm favorite products, the Rubber Base, the Chrome Effects Gel, the 5-in-1 Strengthener, the Matte Top Coat, those kind of things. My other matte top coats, like my Ugly Duckling, Madame Glam Matte, matte Top Coat. I'm going to have my Nail Addict matte top coat in there some extra primers and I have my super shiny uh, refill bottle from light elegance just a mixture of products and I do use these quite a bit so I like to keep them close by so I have that and now I'm just gonna put this bigger container from the dollar store in to put all the acrylic core powders in just right behind it and it's gonna fit perfect so yeah, I'm just going to take my main ones. I've got like Mia Secrets I use all the time and just some extra other ones like a lot of Cover Pink Mia Secret and Frosted Pink and this pink acrylic powder and I've also got, I'll show you here, CJP's. This one's a Core Powder and Amore and I also have Slush Fairy. Just, these are the ones that I'm probably going to use at some point, so I definitely want to keep these ones close by. And I do have some more Mia Secret ones, and I should show you too. I have, it's called OLE Acrylics. These are core powders, and they are on Instagram if you want to look them up. They do have a lot of nail art products, but they had sent me these to share with everyone. So I'm going to put all of this in here. Anyways, that's oh, one more and then Light Elegance one, a clear. But other than that, that's my core powders. So this drawer is done. Now, if I get a new, say, product that I want to put in here, I've got room, which is perfect. And I feel that it's neatened it right up better. At least I can find everything without having to search. And my acrylics, I'm glad I got rid of the ones that I'm not using or at least move them for now. And, oh yes, I should add this too. I see I've got my McCart foil gel. It's a really good foil gel if you guys are looking for one. If you want any of the links for any of these products, just let me know and I'll put it down in the description. 
So yeah, this is a really good foil glue gel. Anyways, so yeah, it's got to go down here too so I can find it easy. I forgot, I do have my Young Nails core powders too, so I'm going to stick those down. So I have one more thing to add. I bought these off of AliExpress. If you want the link, let me know. Anyways, I use them for is adding acrylic powder to gel polish to give it strength. So these work perfect for that. So I want to put those down with my acrylic. So I think I'll just put them off to the side. And I just added a cuticle oil down there. I didn't show that. It's just an extra one. So I think that's it for this video. I don't want to make this one too long. As you know, I have the desk drawer on the other side to do yet. It's empty, so I do have to organize some things in there. I have other products that I need to get in there as well and organize. But I think this is going to work really good. I feel it's much neater. I do like how it turned out. I could have two of these and I could fill this drawer just with those type of products. But for now, it's nice to have the acrylic all in one and easy to reach because I am right handed. And if you want to see any of my other drawers in my desk, I have shown them before in the past, but they've changed somewhat. I can sh do a video on that, but I am going to do a part two to show you that other drawer that I haven't done and a few more organizational things uh, that you may want to see. Let me know. But anyways, I'm, I think for sure I will do part two. And if you do want to see any other videos of my room, a tour again, anything like that, just let me know and put it down in the comments because then I can decide if I want to do a full tour again or if you guys just want to see these drawers being done and that's it so thanks for watching if you could please like and subscribe i'd really appreciate that and i will see you in part two